Shout out for Derek Fisher, man. Derek Fisher, he is the new head coach of a major California high school team. And, um, you know, Derek Fisher, man, he used to, um, he coached for the New York Knicks back in 2014 to 2016 and the LA Sparks of the WNBA from 2019 to 2022. Now, now he accepts the coaching job with the Crispy Celtics, Crips, Crispy Celts of Encino. It's a California's Carmelite high school basketball team. Um, they are very competitive um, in a very competitive division in California. Some people would say it's probably the top and it's up there with um, some top high school basketball teams. Um, Derek Fisher. What can I say about Derek Fisher, man? Um, Derek Fisher has not been that successful um, as a head coach in a, from, from a professional perspective. When he was with the New York Knicks, wasn't a good record at all. Phil Jackson was the one that hired him and got him on with the New York Knicks. And then he actually went and was hired for the L.A. Sparks. And um, I just think, is Derek Fisher a good coach? No, to be quite honest with you. Was he a good player? Yes, absolutely. He was he's he's probably up there as one of the top role players in NBA history. He played a crucial role in the Los Angeles Lakers winning several championships. Um, I know Kobe Bryant and Shaq really um, adored him. Um, I know Phil Jackson liked him. I know he was a good teammate for the most part. Um, and, and, you know, people liked watching how Derek Fisher put his discipline and showing up consistently out there on the basketball court night in and night out. And when you have a, a, a resume like that, uh, people are going to want to hire you so that way it can be infectious and actually spread some of that discipline on to the team and that's what you hope for and that's one of the things that this high school team is looking for I know the director of the basketball team um, at Crispy that's what they're looking for for Derek Fisher to bring that discipline to bring that mental focus that physical focus that is needed to be able to play at a very high level now has it has it gone good for Derek Fisher as an actual head coach in basketball no, but let me tell you something, man. Um, you keep you keep working at it. You keep working at it. And eventually you hope that you do a good job on this high school team level because they are a very prominent high school basketball team. And hopefully that will lead you back into the professional ranks, whether that's in the NBA or the WNBA. Um, to be quite honest with you, um, I don't believe Derek Fisher probably got a real good shot. Uh, he had a real shot in with the New York Knicks. There was a lot of uh, things that was going on with the New York Knicks at that time. Um, they didn't have a lot of good pieces and everything of that nature. But at the end of the day, your record is your record as an NBA head coach. Then he went over to the L.A. Sparks. Um, they was hoping they was going to be able to get a caliber coach like him. And then hopefully that, you know, infectious consistency of mental discipline and to be able to show up night in and night out. And hopefully that was going to equate to wins and then quite didn't get there. I think through his whole tenure with the Sparks, he only had one playoff win. And we all know when you're when you are a head coach in professional sports, one thing they focus on is you being able to win games. That's <laughs> it's a business. Nothing personal in this situation is that when you're not winning basketball games, unfortunately, when you're the head coach, you're going to get the blame for it. And they're going to put you out and put somebody else in. Hopefully, hopefully someone can be able to turn that organization around to win games. If you win games, guess what? The head coach is good. When you lose games, guess who gets the first hot seat? That's the head coach. And that's just how it goes in professional um, sports. I wish Derek Fisher all the best, man. Uh, we'll see. I think if they end up losing um, on a high school rank level, it's going to be very hard for him to get another head coaching job in the professional ranks. Now, um, I would like to see Derek Fisher. I mean, I tell you, Derek be dressing sharp now. He be dressing sharp. I would like to see him. I think he can be in some fit of capacity with the NBA 
because this guy brings a level level of discipline and he's very well respected in the NBA, man. The guy played like 16 years, give or take, um, in the NBA. And I would definitely like to see him get involved, whether that's through physical fitness, whether that's due uh, basketball player development, whether that's due as an assistant coach. I think he's very deserving that he should get that opportunity back in the uh, NBA because let me tell you something. Truth be told, even though he only coached about two years in the NBA, there are a lot of people that have failed as coaches in the NBA but they still continue to get opportunities and and that's what I look at man is that at the end of the day this man comes ready from a professional level his mind is straight on um um he takes care of himself and I believe he, and, and and the way he carries himself off the court besides that tobacco <laughs> that tobacco he had <laughs> with Matt Barnes um ex-wife man um besides that drama and that was a drama situation um, at the end of the day, man, he deserves another opportunity. And I would like to see him more in the NBA realm rather than the WNBA. The WNBA have a lot of problems. And I think, you know, Derek Fisher deserves to be in the NBA in those type of capacities where I think he'll do very good. So let's see how it turns out with him on this high school basketball team. It definitely is something um, that he wanted to take on as a challenge and and sharpen up his head coaching skills and it seems like he has a passion for it you know some people could look at this situation as a fall from grace you know it could be something where you know when you go to the nba and then you don't do well and then you get fired and then you go to the los angeles sparks and the wnba um you coach that team for three seasons and then you end up getting fired and 12 games played in in your fourth season uh, because y'all was not having a winning record and then now it goes to you're playing on the high school level. Um, uh, one caveat is, is that at least on this high school level, it's a very prominent high school basketball team. Um, but, you know, people are watching and they're going to watch and see what he does. And I'm pulling for him. I hope he does well on the high school ranks so that could give him an opportunity if you want to continue to coach. And it's obvious that he wants to be uh, a professional head coach because he would not have took this head coaching job as a high school basketball coach. But at the end of the day, man, everybody's journey is different. Um, it's hard. It's hard being a head coach. I can only imagine on this level you have to deal with all type of personalities and a lot of things behind the scenes that the public don't know. And you have to have everybody on the team to buy in to your leadership. You have to help everybody in your team to buy in to what you believe is going to take the team to the next level. And that's very hard, especially when you're talking about galvanizing a group of men that makes more money than you and galvanize a group of men that, 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 that already has and set in their ways. And if you have any hiccups, it can be very difficult to get everybody on the same page. But that's what he signed up for as a head coach. Um, I hope he has, he's able to do good as a high school basketball coach, but we'll see. Y'all let me know in the comments, how do you feel about Derek Fisher being a high school um, basketball coach at Crispy? Do you think he'll have an opportunity to be able to coach back in the NBA or the WNBA rather? Um, if not, let me know in the comments, but stay tuned to the next video. Take care.